right, welcome to the Real Estate Huddle, episode 27, coming at you, and we're gonna talk about uh, Castle Rock today, which um, is one of our, I would say, just great cities in, in the Denver metro area. And, um, and so we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of living in Castle Rock. And um, let's start with the pros. What, what do you guys love about the Castle Rock area? The Castle Rock. I, that's, <laughs> that's the first thing that I think of. There it is, is a Castle Rock? Yeah. There's the a castle. castle. I know, the I know. Castle. They don't. They don't you know. Know, are you from here? Cherokee. <laughs> Cherokee. Yeah, no, it's, it, it literally is a big old rock. They have a like, lit up star where they do like a little ceremony kind of festival once a year. Um, but year round, unless it's like the dead of winter, you can hike it and climb up on top. And it's like a great view just looking over like downtown Castle Rock. Um, seeing all the mountains so that's the first thing I think of yeah yeah it also has um it's growing there's a lot of new builds there um so if you're looking for that kind of community then it has a lot of that has a lot of cool amenities a too. lot more restaurants over the last 10 years a lot more shopping five centers five years even, yeah. oh yeah five years and um what what I personally like about it is that it's it's sort of like its own bubble. You're living 45 minutes away from Denver, so you want to have an area that is that feels like your bubble and it has everything that you want like need um, versus having to drive into town. Because I remember when my family first moved there, we still felt like we had to commute to back and forth to Denver to do fun things. And over the 10 years, that completely changed. We rarely go to Denver, feel the need to, because of how much they've built out that city. Yeah. yeah, people will tell you, and online it'll say it's thirty minutes to Denver from Castle Rock. Unless you don't <laughs> care about the police and you're flying <laughs> at three in the morning, you're not gonna make it there. It's in really like minutes. forty-five minutes. Yeah, it's forty-five minutes with traffic. For Although sure. I will say they just fixed that stretch of I twenty-five because it used to be a nightmare mm -hmm. when it was under construction and when it was like messed up. So that is a pro, I would say, is that that stretch of I-25, they did a lot of construction. It's a lot better now and like going up to Denver. I agree. And what Kristen said earlier, a lot of new builds, um, they do have a lot of new build construction. But what I also like about the older homes is you get a lot of house for the same price as if you would if you were living closer to uh, you know, Denver, like oh. Highlands Ranch or Littleton. You, you just get a little bit more square footage. Dry till you qualify. Right. That's what we say. <laughs> um, but like, it's not that far of a drive. I still feel like it's pretty connected. There's 80,000 people in Castle Rock. So, and it's growing. Like that's, that's two years after it was 73,000. So like the growth I think is an exciting element of Castle Rock. And, um, we love the parks. Like our kids, uh, we've got four kids and they, they want to get out outside and play, you know, and, and like whenever we go do something scenic outdoors as a family, we go to Castle Rock because they have Philip Miller Park that's insanely awesome that has like a zip line. They have ropes courses that you can do if you have more time, like a whole day to spend there. They also have this humongous lacrosse field you can play like sports on. They have um, all of the different... Uh, What's it called? They're the, just the outdoor areas to cook on, like the the gas burning um, grills. Like they have they have those that are like, um, oh my gosh, what's the word <laughs> that people have like out in their backyards? Uh, Barbecue grill. No. <laughs> what? No, what's the word I'm looking All for? All the grilling I do. <laughs> <laughs> fire pit. It's a, it's a, it's a fire pit. <laughs> we gotta crop that out. They're, they're fire pits, <laughs> but you can also you can also cook on them, which is kind of cool. Um, but they're just like community type things. You don't have to like reserve them or anything you just show up and you can like, you know, just hang out at the fire, do some s'mores, whatnot. So yeah. I think that's a cool element of it. They also have a humongous playground with a big slide that's like a hundred feet long. And, um, and so my kids love that, but then right next to it, there's an incline and yeah. it's a, it's an awesome incline up. It's about, it's probably like a hundred steps up right, yeah. for that one. And then it's zigzag, like switchbacks all the way down. And so you can like, if you're really crazy, we see people like triathletes running up, you know, and then jogging down the, the, the switchbacks and then doing that over and over again a couple of times. But we just like to walk it and go, you know, and, and take our time and it's a good warm up to the incline in Colorado Springs. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's about half the size of that one, right? Yeah. 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 So and then they just opened a rock climbing wall there recently, so that's fun. Um, a huge gym, right? Yeah. Brand new gym. 
Yeah. So a lot of the amenities are cool and kind of going off of what Kim said, it's right in between Colorado Springs and Denver. So if you work in Colorado Springs or if you work in Denver, the commute is going to be pretty similar. Um, so that kind of makes it nice also. Definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they got like other parks, they have Zachary Parish park. Um, and that that's named after a fallen officer that, that, um, was, was just amazing, you know, a hero. And he, that, that, that park has six pickleball courts, outdoor pickleball. And then they have like an amazing playground equipment. that's like huge there. So that one's fun. And then they have the Butterfield crossing park. They just revamped. And that one's awesome too, for, for families just like to go out and, and, um, they have a little mini zip line on that one and just lots of playground equipment. That's pretty extensive. So, uh, and a couple basketball courts, they have a little bit of pickleball there too. So just tons of outdoor entertainment on those. And I think yeah. there's a little skate park too on that one as well. Yeah. So, And then on, um, kind of in the middle, they have, um, a lot of activities, like they have concerts going on, um, right by like great divide. Yeah. Um, Especially in the summer. yeah. And so there's awesome restaurants around there and there's markets or festivals or there's always something going on there. I feel like, yeah. Yeah, right by Philip Miller Park, there's an amphitheater and a um, a, lo- a water like rec center type type thing with like water slides and stuff too. Mm-hmm. So great yeah. area. And I think overall, it's just like a very welcoming community. The people there tend to be friendly. Um, like I saw people from the Bay Area being like, I spoke to these people and they didn't strike me, so they're so kind. But <laughs> it, I think Colorado in general has a very like welcoming kind of friendly energy. Um, but Castle Rock especially, I, I think would, I would people agree. there are happy, they're yeah. friendly. It was rated the number one safest place in the Denver metro area by mm-hmm. SafeWise and a couple other websites too. So I completely agree with that. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then... Oh, well, does anybody have more pros before I switch to a con? Um, I was just going to say that, well, if you're exhausted from, uh, you know, your, your pocketbook is spent from Cherry Creek Mall or some of these high-end shopping centers, the outlets are yeah. a killer in Castle Rock. Like, yeah. They have the, they call it the shops or the outlets in, in Castle Rock, and it's right in the meadows, which is a great community there. And there's a ton of shops. I mean, yeah, probably those, like 60 different ones. Yeah, those yeah. outlets save me every year on Christmas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Killer Black <laughs> The day Friday before. Deals. Yeah. <laughs> Just go buy everyone's presents. Yeah. yeah. And if well, I always tell my clients, especially if they're from out of town, um, to go try La Loma. It's a r- nice wow. Mexican restaurant. It has, it you know, floor-to-ceiling windows, and you get an awesome view of castle rock but then it's also right in the middle of everything that we're talking about like all the shopping centers so you really get a feel for castle rock in the town totally. yeah i love la loma oh That's yeah great great food yep and last yeah. con and then we'll segue it's it's in a really a great school district um in douglas county schools That's so con no, it's a, it's a pro. Did I say con? <laughs> yeah. one, one more pro and then we'll go to the segue because this one is a pro and a con um, it is right in the middle of Denver and Colorado Springs. And so like if you're, uh, you know, split like couple, one works in, in, uh, Colorado Springs, one works in Denver. It's great. We have a lot of clients that, that buy a house in Castle Rock for that reason, um, because the commute for both sides, but then it can also be a little detriment if you want to live in the big city or you want to be a little more populated, um, you're kind of right in the middle of both. And so it's like 45 minutes to both sides. So that would be the con there. There's a couple other cons. What what are you guys thoughts on that? So I think another con is like transportation. So, I mean, really you're going to have to drive to Denver, um, if you want to do anything. Um, so the light rail doesn't go out there yet. Um, the so commute, for sure the commute, um, so kind of depending how often you go to the big city, that would be something to consider Yeah. or the airport. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Going to the airport from Colorado or Castle Rock is tough. Yeah. 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 I'd say, I think it's amazing for like families with kids, particularly. I know there's a lot of like kind of retirees who really enjoy the just outdoors access to all that stuff, kind of easygoing life. Um, I do think if you're like a younger person in your twenties and you're single, get a dog because you might stay single if you're living there because there's just not a whole lot for I would agree with that yeah it's more suburbs feeling for sure yeah total suburbia yeah yeah definitely that's a good point um no lakes to play on is another one right that you mentioned that it's like um you've got Chatfield Reservoir that's that's probably 30 minutes away uh, is your closest lake that you can play on 
Um, and so if you're a boater, water person, that's something to consider. You're also further from the mountain skiing. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's yep. another one. Yeah. So if you're a big skier, it's going to be quite a drive. Yeah. I mean, there's like foothills kind of like stuff around there, like nature, if you're just going on hikes, but all the ski resorts specifically, you're like further away yep. from. Yeah. And there's a ton of great hikes. Like they, again, like triathletes, um, Ironman type competitors, like there's a lot of them in Castle Rock and Golden and some of these like more elevated areas in the Denver metro area that are suburbs of Denver because they're at 6,500 uh, feet above sea level. And the training is, is pretty brutal with thin air up there. And then once they get to their competition in Florida at sea level, then they can go out there and kill it. But that's, that's something that you see a lot of, like just tons of people exercising outdoors in, in Castle Rock, I feel like, on all the trails and stuff. Yeah, if you're into like health and fitness, that's definitely a, like a big culture out there. I think a lot of the restaurants kind of mm-hmm. cater to that. And a lot of people, like you said, you'll see yeah. jogging, biking. Mountain biking yeah. is huge. Um, definitely. And the trail system is incredible too. Like yeah. you can, the trail system goes all the way down from Castle Rock, all the way to Larkspur and Monument. Like you can literally ride a trail for 50 miles and not run out of space. And there were a couple of Broncos players that lived in Castle Pines out in Castle Rock area. Oh yeah. The neighboring city, Castle Pines is, um, yeah. Or I mean, it's just a very wealthy town and pine trees all over just galore. And it's like golf Mecca. Um, some of your best golf courses are all around there. Beautiful wedding venues. Yes. That's incredible. <laughs> Kim, Kim got married. Uh, we have to say this carefully, right? Yeah. Like you got married to your husband. I got married to my wife. Um, <laughs> we have to spell it all out because when we say we both got married. Then. Yeah. We said that during a <laughs> listing presentation, what? there was an awkward silence and then I just go, but not together. <laughs> and then ever since then, it's just been a joke. <laughs> a few years apart too, but um, but yeah, we, uh, so there's just some great places there that are beautiful, like scenic places. And honestly, like not just the golf courses, but other wedding venues and like places for receptions, like around town, there are restaurants that are awesome. La yeah. Loma. Is yeah. Just, oh. And if you're ever doing like engagement photos and you want that mountain feel without having to drive all the way, Castle Rock has awesome places for lookouts and stuff like that for photos. Definitely. It's just very scenic. Yeah. yeah. If you're hungry, like all the chains are like five guys, you got mod pizza, you got Neaters, you got like cafe Rio, like all these great new restaurants that have come in town are all there in Castle Rock. So you get a lot of that and you, you won't run out of places to eat. That's for sure. Yeah. And I'd say another thing that I forgot to mention earlier, if you're more investment minded, um, like you were saying, you're going to get more house for the money, just square footage wise finishes, you're going to get a better value, I think, out there. Um, as well, it's growing really quickly. It's a really popular area. So if you're looking at your home as an investment where you want to you know, live there for a while, have it appreciate and increase in value and sell it down the line, I think Castle Rock is definitely a good place that you can do that. I would agree. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. And on the east side of town too, like um, once you cross I-25 and go east, there's like like five acre plots of land. Uh, it just gets, it gets yeah. bigger once you get closer to Franktown and uh, Elizabeth down there. So like, there's even 40 acre plots of land out there that you can have acreage too. So Castle Rock's, you know, they're kind of known for both of being like the old town feel with the land and also like the meadows and other like newer communities are really like vibrant and, you know, just, I don't know. It's a quicker pace of life on that side. I would say just like on the, the West side of, of I-25, but, um, but and then you got all the shops, that's where the outlets are and all of that stuff too. And still within striking distance to, to everything. Like Kim said, like you don't have to leave Castle Rock for hardly any reason, unless you want that nightlife, like Jack Jackson said, or you want to have like more, I don't know, I would say like entertainment as far as that goes. So, yeah. Awesome. Anything else guys on Castle Rock? No, I think we covered everything. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hopefully you found this valuable. Um, And uh, remember to click subscribe so you can hear about more. We're going to be spotlighting more cities around the Denver metro area, more neighborhoods, areas, um, so that you can learn more about those if you're thinking about moving to the Denver metro area. Um, This is where you want to come to listen. The Denver, or sorry, the real estate huddle. Um, Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time.
So if you have enjoyed what you're listening to and you'd like to, to hear more, make sure to press that subscribe button so that you can not miss out on any more episodes that are coming up. And also check out all of our contact information is below. You can see us at, at the uh, dreamsmithteam.com um, to, to look up more information about our team and our history and, and all the members of our team and, um, and see contact information that, that you can reach us if you have any real estate needs. See you next time.